Shabbat Shalom. In this parsha, parsha Naso, we have the parsha, the paragraph about the Nazir, the Nazarite. This is somebody who says, I want to forbid myself from having wine, being in touch with a dead body. It's a kind of ascetic undertaking. The Talmud says that it's only for 30 days. But there's an argument in the Talmud. Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? Does the Nazir have to bring a sacrifice at the end, a sin offering at the end, because they have left their holiness? Or do they have to bring a sin offering at the end of their Nazarite ship because they have separated themselves from the world? And as the Talmud says, the Torah forbids enough upon you. Why do you have to forbid more upon yourself? What grounds is there for being a Nazir? The Rambam, very famously in the Mishnah Torah, says that a human being should be on the middle path, that all midot, all characteristics are on a spectrum. And for every characteristic, for instance, being on the one hand, extremely giving, on the other hand, extremely stingy, there's a middle ground. And the Rambam says we should aim to be in the middle. But what happens if a person is naturally on one extreme or the other? So the Rambam says, go to the opposite extreme and you'll end up back in the middle. The middle path, I would say, even for the Nazir, the function of the Nazir, the purpose of the Nazir being an extremist, being an ascetic is in order to get back to the middle path, at least according to the Rambam. I think this is an important lesson, that in Judaism, the middle path, not being an extremist, is very important. Uh, everything is a push and pull. Everything is a cost-benefit analysis. Everything has a give and take. For everything that we do, for every stricture, there's a leniency that emerges out of it. For every leniency, there may be a stricture that emerges out of it. Nothing uh, is free. And as we're coming back to Shul, uh, this Shabbat with God's help, and as we are coming back to be together, uh, we should remember it doesn't happen all at once. There is a push and pull. Every uh, coming back together might bring with it a, a certain amount of danger, but not coming back together also brings with it a certain amount of danger. We can never uh, have everything. Everything costs something. Uh, if we're going to be only extremely safe, we will lose that in community. If we're going to throw caution to the wind and just focus on being together, we lose something in safety. And so I think the goal is, like the Rambam says, and like we learned perhaps from the Nazir, to be on the middle path. We've gone to the extreme already, and we have done it, and it's been important, and I'm glad that we did it to keep people healthy. Thank God nobody got sick over the last year from being in Shul. Uh, but now is the time when we have to use that extremism to move back into the center, because now it is more safe. Uh, we're not going to just throw caution to the wind, but our goal is to be slowly, slowly, more and more back to normal and uh, back unified as a community, hopefully even more warm, even more embracing, even more interwoven, more cohesive than we have ever been. That is my bracha and my prayer for all of us. Shabbat shalom.